Back here today with Keith from KO Tires, and what we did is we took the tires and wheels off, and in the meantime, we went through and sandblasted the drums, we sandblasted the wheel center, and painted those, we got those green, the drums black. We also went through the entire brake system, got everything uh, dialed in, and while we did that, what did you have to do to to work on these wheels and tires? Well, these tires and wheels, this uh, setup, uh, is called a suicide rim. Okay, wow, what, what, what do they call it, a suicide well, rim? Well, a suicide rim is, it's a two-piece rim, and it's just, the outside lip is just really small. Okay. And a lot of times, they fly apart when you're airing them up. Well, and I notice you got a pretty good sized hammer there. What? Well, when we break them down, you have to beat the tire and outside lip down far enough so you can pop the outside lip off because it's like oval shaped. So if you can imagine, we got a circle and we got an outside lip that's oval shaped. So that means it's not touching all the way around. So, so what, would that center pop off and hit people then? Or? Yeah, a lot of times this the outside ring, when you're airing the tire up, if it's not set just right, it will fly off. And a lot of times it's called a suicide rim because people do it are pretty much committing suicide. So they do gotcha. fly off and they... So you definitely do. don't want to try this at home yourself. Oh no, no. You Lee. want to take it to a professional like yourself, make yeah. sure it's done properly. Yeah the, yeah, the professionals need to be trained. So even like a normal tire shop cannot do these. Uh, a lot of people that do like farm equipment and stuff, those type of professionals probably have done this stuff and they know how to do it. Gotcha. So once you got all this reassembled, it uh, looks like we've got the... Uh, you powder coated the wheels. I think you did that. Where'd you take that to? Well, we sent those out to Aesthetic Finishers in Piqua, and uh, they do a great job. Uh, nice black, really nice and thick. Even when I mounted them back up, the paint hardly chipped, which when I have to install these is almost the same way as taking them off. I have to beat these with the hammer and make wow. sure they're centered. So That's crazy. Um, so now that we've got these painted, we're going to do the installation. What does that entail? Well. What we do is we just slide it over the hub. Now, this is not like a normal car setup. It has little wedges that go all the way around it and it centers it just right. So you have to spin the wheel okay. and tighten one up a little bit at a time to make sure it's nice and true. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna go down the road with the steering wheel shaking. So wow. the truer we get it, the smoother the ride is on this. All right, Keith, why don't you go ahead and show me how to do a proper installation on these. All right, sounds good, let's get to it. All right. So we lift it up on there, just slide it nice and easy. And there it is, just like that. Now we get the wedges on there and start them. Okay. And we'll go from there. Gotta get one started. And we'll go back on the opposite side, get the other one started. And just slowly work our way around the rim. We got, we got them all started. Now we have to true this thing up, make sure we get it nice and smooth uh, so the poor driver doesn't get shook, shook to death. So what I do, I use my hammer because I'll probably have it out because I just changed some wheels. And I'll set it, I'll start out about an inch from the wheel and I'll spin it just to see how bad it is. So this is the highest spot that sticks out. So I go ahead and put this a little bit closer and then I'll go ahead and tighten one of these up a little bit at a time until I get it nice and smooth. All right. I'll it's go ahead crazy. and get a yeah. I go ahead and get a, a socket and an impact, and we'll go ahead and snug them up a little bit at a time. And we should be pretty you got uh, the impact. Pretty good to go. Boy, that looks good, doesn't it?
Let me go ahead and hit the brakes. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll grab a torque wrench and uh, we'll get them torqued down and we'll be finished with one. There they are, there's one done. All right, let's go ahead and finish them up and we'll see you next week. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or follow our blog on GoFinishFirst.com.